Hello, Food Boundary friends. So I have had people asking me what exactly uh, the recommendations were regarding the clots in my leg. So I did have this with baby number five and the treatment that they were, you know, started is totally different than what they're doing now. Back then, I think there was a lot of confusion with the providers that even though the radiologist said it was superficial clots, that in their mind, any clot that a woman in a post, you know, a six week postpartum time frame could have was a DVT, which is not true. Um, and mine have and are superficial, meaning they're not in any deep veins. My current protocol is elevation, heat, and time. And I did get them checked to make sure with ultrasound that they're not DVT and they're not from having varicose veins. And the other recommendation they gave me was NSAIDs and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Um, we don't keep those in our home because they're not gluten-free. They do not have to be labeled. They do not have to be um, even written on there that they were created on the same lines as something that does specifically contain gluten filled things. Um, so we don't keep them in our home, but we do keep wellness products in our home that I do use for discomfort. Um, so I am using a THC free CBD muscle rub and I am using a pain cream and I am also using an essential oil on my leg called Cypress that is a support for, um, the cardiovascular system, veins and arteries in particular. And I think those things are helping.